Maybe Rick Carlisle does something that I don't see. But outside of 2011, am I missing something on Rick Carlisle? I don't think you are. Like 2011 was a great run. But we got to chalk that up to Dirk getting the hottest we've ever seen somebody get in a playoff run. Like Dirk in 2011 was insane. So Rick Carlisle was the coach for that. But I think that more so falls on Dirk getting super hot. And it just was a very good vet team. They had but a you lot hear of how pieces. Rick Carlisle's talked about, though, right? Like He got one of them things. And this high, high echelon of NBA coaches. And, again, it may be something that I'm missing. But, like, I look at Dallas and – I don't even know if – I mean, I don't know if I've ever looked down at Dallas in a Rick Carlisle era and go, it's championship operation going on down there. It goes, uh, they're going to overachieve maybe, but not achieve enough. I think – and I'm, we're not up here saying Rick Carlisle's trash, don't you? No, more no, no, no. God, no, he's a great I just coach. don't think he's – I think he is a great coach. I don't think he's on the level people are putting him. I wouldn't even put him on the same level as like a Spolstra. Like everybody was talking about Spolstra, and they were like, oh, look, once LeBron left, LeBron left and, and Bosch was hurt. He has still had that team a contender, and they are very good. And their best player is Jimmy Butler, who, like, I love Jimmy Butler, but he's not a we need a we need a buckets, we need you to go get us buckets. He's a gritty player, he's not a flashy player. And Spolstra got that team to the finals. So that's the type of like doing more with less. And I don't think Carlisle has done that. I think his team is operating about where they should for the roster they have. Fair.